What is going on everyone? It's Troy Tim here and today we're going to be adding auto layout to all the buttons necessary, the floating action buttons in the material design system. And as you can see, we don't need auto layout for this regular variant or this mini floating action button variant. So we'll get to it with the extended floating action button because currently if I copy this, I actually don't have the ability to, there's no auto layout added and we need auto layout. We need this to be responsive in our designs. We don't want to be manually adjusting the width of our buttons when we uh, reduce or add text. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new frame from scratch. And I got a little trick for us. If we select this component, hold down Option Command C, and then click on our frame, hit Option Command V, we have pasted all of the properties associated with it, um, which, uh, which is the effects and the background color, which are styles. So it's still attached to the system. And I'm going to go ahead and modify the width, set the width to 120 pixels and the height to 48. And then I'm going to go ahead and copy this text, paste it, option command V, command H, uh, option V and H. Move that over to the side. I'm going to copy this icon here. I'm going to paste that, hit option V to center it vertically. And then I'm going to make sure all my padding is set accordingly. And now it currently is. Uh, we can double check by holding down option. And I'm going to go ahead now and hit option, uh, Shift A to turn this into auto layout. It'll let you know it's turned into auto layout. And what you're going to want to do is click on the alignment and spacing icon and then center the content so the text is no longer up on the left. It's now centered properly. And then we're going to want to add spacing, padding to the right of 20 pixels. So now we, when we go in and add text, it's responsive. We no longer have this uh, old terrible version where we don't have auto layout in our button. And what we're going to want to do is I'm going to go ahead and make this the new master component. I'm going to copy that naming convention, command R, command C to, to copy that name and then command R, command V and then option command K to turn that into a master component, which is awesome. So now we have our master component. I'm going to delete this old one. And that is how you add auto layout to the floating action, extended floating action button. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one.